All right, it's a special day. It marks the return of Dr. Pepper Day, and yeah. so many people gathered in downtown Roanoke to celebrate the occasion. I mean, so many, yeah. right? Yeah, Tender's reporter Abby Coleman has more on the excitement and the history behind the soda right here in Southwest Virginia. 10, 2, and 4. That's when people say to grab a bite to drink of Dr. Pepper. And on Tuesday, the city of Roanoke embraced this idea for Dr. Pepper Day. President of Dr. Pepper Park, Waynette Anderson, says the city has a long-seated history with the drink. We've been number one in consumption um, in 1957, 1958, and then again in 1960. And even to this day, we're still one of the highest consumers um, per capita in the United States. But the ties go back even further than that. In fact, it all stems from a drugstore and rural retreat opened by Dr. Charles Pepper. A Christiansburg man who worked for Dr. Pepper then created the drink in Waco, Texas, naming it after his boss back home. But it doesn't end there. The first um, Dr. Pepper bottling plant was built on McClanahan Street in South Roanoke uh, back in 1936. Roanoke Mayor Sherman Lee says he doesn't take the connection for granted. Uh, Roanoke has always been on board and has been a tremendous, really, advocate for Dr. Pepper. We drank a lot of Dr. Pepper in our city. Lee declared October 24th Dr. Pepper Day in honor of the 10, 2, and 4 you see on the Dr. Pepper sign downtown. To give them a proclamation thanking Dr. Pepper for his commitment to this community. On Tuesday, hundreds of people lined up for free Dr. Pepper merch. Wanda Braden has been coming out for four years and doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Come and get my Dr. Pepper in my shirt. In Roanoke, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.